no face no case guys you can you guys see this thing on my screen welcome back to my youtube channel i trust you guys are doing okay welcome once again guys i don't know if you guys can see this on my screen you can see the portrait in mercy's house and it's faceless right okay there was a tour to mercy's house in fact it was a real tour guys i would say you that Messi AK is a big lady okay so um she had this surprise person this surprise interviewer come to her house to you know have some chats with her okay so they started by you know introducing herself and i don't just want to put all of them in one gist because it's actually a very long video okay so now when he got to this point um this person asked what is this behind you faceless and messi responded no face no case and you know the interviewer was quite you know shocked and curious i don't understand and initially um she thought he said she said no face no kiss so what she said no face no kiss meaning that when you don't reveal much about yourself, people wouldn't have anything to talk about. Like, you know, she always says it. Be so private that people wouldn't have anything to say rather than do what imagine. And guys, I know I keep saying what people know is what they attack and what they don't know is what they suspect. So that's exactly what that faceless um, painting means that when people know your face then at least you have revealed they know some things about you they can recognize you anytime they see you but whereby they don't know you they will just be like oh we're hearing about how we've not met her and all that and you know the guy was like okay wow that's actually a good one so it was really 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 fun to watch honestly and you know messi was just blushing he asked her lots and lots of questions and you know she responded okay when he got to a place where he asked um if you just have one person you want to invite to a show who would it be before she said it my mind told me it's going to be her sister sweetie yes i think messi has a very good relationship with her, her sister sweetie honestly she's just like her pa she's just like you know and she went ahead to explain that yes i always go with my sister because i know she's got my back you know at least she's there for me help me hold my things and yeah because in life you don't even know whom to trust you don't know whom is happy for you you don't know so picking just any random person the person might just be thinking of another thing in his or her mind so she mentioned is her sister sweetie and you guys know sweetie is always there to defend mercy i remember when the international passport office it was sweetie that took it upon herself she said yes despite that my sister told me not to do this but i'm going to do that she had to like check brought the birth certificate so she has a very very wonderful relationship with her sister so she went ahead to offer this her august visitor and guys wow her fridge is well stocked she was asking the guy, I have a bono, I have a crow, what do you want to eat? I have this, I have that. You know, she brought cookies, brought chocolate, then brought roasted chicken. You know, she said it was given to her by her mom. Yeah, the mom had sent them down from Imo State. That is her place. And okay. So, and you know yeah they had some good time she and this her august visitor they started eating and talking so the guy asked her okay this thing came down from your hometown so how is your hometown she explained that the hometown is cool but right now she's not been there for two years because the place is hot and there are some memories that you know since she lost her dad there are some memories that she didn't want she do she wouldn't really want to recall back okay so 
that's why most times she doesn't like going there you guys know that her mom is always coming to lagos her mom is always visiting her once a day she flies down stays with her goes back so she said um her dad always addresses her calls her chen young so having that going there and you know nobody to call her that it really really breaks her so much so she doesn't really really fancy going there of less okay there be need for it there be an urgent need for her to go there so this person went ahead to ask about her childhood memories you know embarrassing moments in her life and um you know the things she really enjoyed when she was small and she mentioned her brothers you know she loved playing with her brothers in the rain and all that so you could see that messi is really a family person when it comes to yeah she's really really a family person guys there are things that don't really oh my goodness when the 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 top 10 she did the other day <laughs> no 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 it's not that one is just it's just like a quarter so honestly she had a she received a call and she was to go on a dinner date with her man when this interview as she said yeah she had a dinner date with the man and she doesn't even know what to wear so the guy went ahead to say i can help you yeah i can help you figure out what you can wear i can help you you know choose she was like wow really so they went upstairs to guys you guys there to see messy's closet oh my goodness the shoes are one in a million shoes bags perfumes you know she was like trying to like choose check the one that will make her look cheeky you know she's like she wants to look cheeky so she was like selecting gowns and the guy was like no this one is fine but mm -mm, no this one is good but no this one is good but uh, it was really fun to behold okay uh she just picked this pink shoe i said that's what she's gonna go with on the dinner so the guy was like is it a romantic date is it what she said yeah a romantic date we have man we have man oh my goodness we just can't wait to see this man okay so you know that was how she made her selection and guys i started looking at the bags oh my god so the guy was like out of curiosity he said okay what's the most expensive thing here and you know she mentioned like three one actually then three bags that so the other one's twenty eight thousand dollars one is thirty two thousand dollars the other one is thirty thousand dollars guys with the increase in 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 the, the high dollar rates now you guys should know how much okay probably we don't know when she purchased it but it wouldn't really be that far probably when dollar was at like 1000 or 700 or even at that is quite quite expensive and the guy was like okay i'm going to ask you a question and if you don't okay you're going to like um um what do, what did he say okay you're going to like get um 10 words okay produce or manufacture 10 words out of create 10 words out of the word teacher then if you get it correctly i'll give you back your bag yeah it's a challenge if you don't get it correctly that means this is one thing i'm going to be leaving your house with oh my goodness let's see try 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 then she mentioned chair guys it's wrong and you know that was how he took the bag but she was like what you guys said to see how labo removed that sip i said what i will pull wig now what hey do you know what this bag this bag is like hey this bag is one in a million this is not what I play with. So, and it ended there, guys. So, it was really fun to be here. There were so many things she said. It's not right what I'm going to just put out in one um, video, okay? Just um, expect more of these episodes, okay? I love you guys. Bye.